Hey, everybody, George the Tech. Well, I've been a little more active on Clubhouse lately, and I jumped into Jody Krangle's Power of Sound, Voices and Podcasting, one of those clubhouses, and uh, <laughs> I was kind of begged to blog about how to get pro audio quality equipment injected into Clubhouse, okay? So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna focus on iPhone or iOS devices. Um, desktop devices are a different video, a different thing, because it's using not Clubhouse, but Club Deck, different story. This is all about Clubhouse and using an iPhone. I'm on an iPhone 11 in this case. So um, here's the pieces that you can try using and should have success. And I'm gonna tell you, I have not tried every single piece I'm about to show you, but I'll start with the things that I have used absolutely successfully. The key element you need to have to get a almost guaranteed success with using Clubhouse on iOS is you need to have the lightning headset adapter. One of these guys. In fact, I'll put it here on camera. Got to have one of those. Now, this is an aftermarket one. I think it was made by Mophie or something. I like it because it's more heavy duty. But the one that you can buy from Apple for $10 it's got a thinner, uh, very thin wire. But anyway, it, the whole thing about this adapter is it basically anything that you now plug into that adapter will just appear as a normal speaker and a microphone, right? So it's taking that lightning adapter and giving you back the good old headset jack that Father Steve took away from us many years ago. Okay, so now that we, now we have a phone with a headset jack again, now we can plug stuff in and get audio in and out of it. And uh, so another key element to this whole thing is you need to have cables that have connectors that look like this. It's gotta be T-R-R-S, tip, ring, ring, sleeve. Tip, ring, ring, sleeve. That's what that means when you see T-R-R-S, okay? This is what allows not only audio to come pass out as a head, like a normal headphone, but audio to go back in again, like in the mic, like a microphone. So that's what the TRRS cable does. Now, now that you've got this connector, what do you do with that? Where is that going to go into next? What good is it for? <laughs> well, it's going to depend on what other hardware you have available. There is more audio interfaces coming out all the time that have a TRRS connection for connecting to uh, mobile devices, and even actually the headset jack on your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, anything with a single headset port will use this TRRS connector. That's anything made in the last five years. Now, at this point, you can connect anything else that has TRRS into the phone, and now Clubhouse will hear it because that little adapter fools the iPhone into thinking whatever you've plugged into it is a hands-free or headset device. And that will, that's what's gonna allow it to work with things like Zoom and Clubhouse, which require hands-free, I guess you could call it, compatible device. So what can we plug it into? So um, a few examples I've done with, ch tested with over the years is my Mac mini headset jack. I have plugged it into a Rodecaster Pro, which has the TRRS connector on the back, creating you that additional signal connection. But my most recent discovery and my most favorite way to do this with really high quality audio and all the, all the bells and whistles that you would ever need, but still not mind-numbingly frustrating to use with menus and configurations and loopbacks and everything else is one of these guys. This is a Sentrance Portcaster. And where this thing comes into play is, well, it's really, it's everything, right? It's, it's a mic preamp interface so it's got proper balanced xlr inputs for microphones that provide phantom power and plenty of clean gain it has the right connections to interface with everything on the planet because it's got line in line out headphone specific connections and it has this magic jack right here that says phone mix minus this is the trrs connector this is what's gonna plug in to this cable right here. Once those are connected together, 
and you've gone to the front panel of your portcaster and used a paper clip to switch channel two from microphone to phone, you have to make that switch to change inputs. Now channel two on the portcaster is a phone patch. So the signal coming back from your phone caller uh, or Zoom or whatever that you're hearing from Clubhouse is controlled here. That's how loud it's gonna be in your headphones. You'll leave the in and USB blend in the center. And then monitor down here is just how loud everything appears in your headphones, okay? So your mic is gonna be here. Leave the mic blend somewhere in the middle so you can hear yourself and the caller. And then have this set to your desired headphone level. And if you like recording backups and you like having a safety, this is part of the deal. It has built-in recording. So you just pop a micro SD card in here, and now you can record internally and get a backup of that important session, interview, clubhouse, whatever it is you're doing. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Really well thought out. Sound quality is impeccable. Quarter 20 thread on the back to connect to a camera tripod or any mount you have handy, very well thought out. So again, that is my preferred way. But what if you don't have one or if this is a little bit too expensive? And I understand this, I think this is $500, so not cheap. What if you have like, I don't know, just a plain old USB mic that has a headphone jack on it and you wanna get that USB mic into your iPhone? You know, you can't use USB because it won't appear as a hands-free device. So the phone won't, uh, Clubhouse won't hear it. So then what the heck do you do? Well, there's a couple workarounds for this one too. So again, it's all gonna start with this cable right here, okay? But now instead of just using a TRS patch cable, that's not gonna help you. You're gonna need another way to, to split up the audio in and out so that you can patch into it from other devices. There's a couple ways to do this, but one way is something like this. This is the iRig, the original iRig. They, you can spend more money and buy an iRig too, but if you look around on Amazon, you might find the knockoffs of these that still exist for like 10 bucks. And what the iRig does is gives you that magic TRRS connector that will plug into your lightning adapter. And now you have a quarter inch line input and an eighth inch headset output, okay? So now you've got a way to interface your mobile device with any analog audio device that has normal line in and line out connectors. This is the workaround. This grand total of this whole rig right here, 20 bucks. So all you have to do is have the adapters available, cables or whatever, to get the output of what you want to feed to the input of the iRig. Now you're thinking, well, wait a minute, now how am I gonna get that into the headset jack of my USB mic? Just the headphone eighth inch output, which is a stereo left right signal. How am I gonna run that into the mono input of the iRig? This right here, uh, an adapter like this, might be all that you need. So here's what's gonna happen. What we're doing is we're only using one side of the stereo output from your USB mic, right? So remember, stereo headphone jack out of the USB, out of the phone, splits into this, and we're gonna take this, which again, another adapter, and we're gonna plug this into this. Now, ideally, this would actually have a eighth inch plug on it instead of an eighth inch socket right that would be much more preferable because we would need yet another cable but that's the adapter i happen to have on me now a cord that goes from an eighth inch plug on this end to two quarter inch plugs on the other end something you can get look for hosa s-o-h-o-s-a uh cables on amazon you can get that cable for 10 bucks and you'll have eighth inch stereo on one end quarter inch left and right a black and a red or orange and gray or whatever on the other side. And now you've split off the headset. So now it's going just one channel into your iRig and then that's going into your phone. And that's what it would take to get the headset headphone jack 
of any USB mic to feed back into your phone, okay? Then to hear the caller on the other end, you'll plug headphones, any old headphones you got around, not the ones with an inline microphone, just a normal pair of headphones, and you'll plug that in right here. And that will allow you to now hear the caller on the other end and the conversation in the clubhouse. It's crazy, right? That we need a daisy chain of adapters and splitters and everything to get this one thing to work. I have yet to find an all-in-one piece that does this. If anybody knows of one, let me know. Has to be MFI, made for iOS certified, to work. But you can try it. This will probably end up be a blog post at some point which it takes far too much time, so I may have somebody else do it. Um, but there you have it. I hope you found that helpful, and I would love to get comments about what worked for you and what didn't, or maybe what you've stumbled along along the way that actually works better than what I came up with. So uh, anyway, thanks for listening. This has been George the Tech. This is interfacing with the Clubhouse or other mobile communication systems on mobile devices with pro audio equipment, and I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for listening.